today we're going to show you a little about thread rolling, something we do a lot of here at Military and Commercial Fasteners. This particular bolt is a high strength 12, 12 point bolt that we CNC turn the front here. You can see we, we establish the length and a, a pre roll blank diameter here. We have to hold it very close prior to thread rolling. The more consistent we hold the blank size, the more consistent the thread will be and the higher quality it will be. Uh, we just got a, a set of dies here just to give you an idea of the shape. This is the form that we're actually going to be rolling into the thread. So we're actually going to be squishing this form into the workpiece as it rotates. Okay, we're going to take our bolt here. Uh, this is a Reed B112. It's a, a rather large thread rolling machine. It can roll up to 15 tons capacity. Um, when you're thread rolling here, we can control how fast the, the die penetrates and also how long it dwells after it comes to the stop. Depending on the material that we're rolling, sometimes that has to vary. Sometimes it can roll very fast and other times it may take more revolutions to put the form of the thread into the workpiece. Okay, we're going to take it and roll it right now. Let's see, it rotates and puts the form of the thread into the workpiece. See, it produces a very good finish on it. It's much stronger than if you a cut thread. A rolled thread is superior to a ground thread or a cut thread. Okay, to check the threads, we use something that's called a tri-roll here. This is a functional diameter because it's multi-rib. And of course, we're checking for taper also. Here's a single element tri-roll. It checks the pitch diameter. And of course, we check to make sure we don't have taper. You can see it's nice and straight. This is a System 21 bolt. The acceptability criteria for it is a go and a no-go gauge and a major diameter. So first you take the go gauge, this is supposed to go on. As you can see, it slides right on there nice, that looks great. And then what we have is called a, a no-go gauge. As you can see here, it's in red, so that means it shouldn't go on. Beautiful. This can go up to three turns, but it doesn't. And we'll also check the major diameter of the thread. That's how much it fills out. We check that with a micrometer. See, it's 241. Okay, according to the spec plan, we have to check the first five, and then we check every five. So we have the spec plan already in our computer here, so we'll put the information in there. That's the pass-fail on the pitch diameter, and we actually measure and put in the major diameter of the thread, 1.241, beautiful.